How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today we're gonna to look at Amazon boxes and why they recently tapered some of the corners of their boxes. In this video, you can very clearly see that there is a taper in their box edges. So what this looks like, it's about a 10 degree taper. Now we have to ask ourselves, why would Amazon go through the trouble of cutting all these extra corners because this is apparently a lot more work. First thing is that they do not make individual cuts for these corners. They just basically stamp them out with one giant press. So it's not actually going to take them extra time to cut all these little corners off. What we see here on the inside is that it's also tapered over here. The degree at which they taper, it's also 10 degrees. Now this I suspect is mainly for the ease of assembly of these boxes because basically if I open the bottom, the boxes will come like this in the warehouse and they basically push it over and close the sides. Now they're gluing it instead of putting tape. And at this point, these flaps are just gonna go everywhere. If this panel has a 90 degree to it, in other words, not tapered at all, and this panel over here comes in even half a degree, then the person or the machine trying to assemble this, trying to push in this panel, essentially gonna get this panel stuck. But with this little taper, this thing can go in up to 10 degrees and it will not catch on anything. Here this panel is at zero degrees. You can see if I just move in just maybe one or two degrees, it's gonna catch. And this is going to slow down their assembly process. So I figured this tapering might be patented, but there are no numbers on this box with a patent number. I looked up the patents in the USPTO office that are issued to Amazon. They do not have a patent on box technology, nor do they have one that's filed. Now perhaps this little taper is too simplistic, so therefore they could not patent it. This probably is able to speed up their box assembly process though. However, when they do this cut, the cardboard place is gonna have a lot of excess materials here um, from these little corners. When you add up millions and millions of boxes, these little corners that are cut out, it's gonna add up to a lot of weight. You do have to note that even with this little tapering, they do have box excess materials because they cut off this little channel over here in order for this box to be assembled easier. Now that they do this little tapering, they're gonna have a little bit more excess materials. I presume they recycle this. Another feature of these boxes is that you'll notice they have really giant letters that essentially assigns what type of boxes is all boxes of this size is gonna be named A1. Now this is the A1 box. I have an A3 box over here. It's roughly the same size, except it's a little bit thicker over here. And they call this A3 instead. Another possibility with this tapering is perhaps they do it so that it will not puncture their tape that goes over this. If you put a piece of a tape over it, if this angle happens to be 90 degrees, it might be a little bit sharper and has a possibility of breaking through this tape. However, Amazon uses this type of reinforced tape. You can see little lines all across. These little lines are really, really hard to pull apart. You essentially have to cut through them in order to open up the package. I have personally never seen a package break through this little corner before. So I do not think the reason that I mentioned is one of the reason why they tapered the corners. Now, have you guys ever wondered why your Amazon boxes open up along the long way. Now let's imagine this Amazon box opens up the short way. We go like this and these flaps essentially have to be this tall, right? So you need to add another inch and a half of cardboard material to make this box work so that it'll be fully covered here. If we add another inch and a half here, it essentially means these flaps need to be a little bit taller too. But if these flaps are inch and a half taller, they're essentially gonna overlap with each other and they're not going to be completely flush like this. Therefore, it's a better idea to close it along the long side and you'll use less material in making this cardboard box. So thanks for watching this Amazon box technology review. Don't forget to give me a like on this video. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of these little tapered corners. If you're interested in supporting my channel, check out my t-shirt sale down in the video description below, or you can get a free audiobook if you want from Audible. If you don't like this audiobook, you can cancel the subscription before it expires and you don't have to pay a thing, and yet you can still keep this audiobook for free and also help benefit this channel. I also have a Patreon over here, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.